American Jewish history has been very much about learning to get by in American society. So we put our heads down. Faith is something that happens at home alone. It's private. We don't want to make laws that reflect our faith. We just want laws to, to ensure fairness. But I think that's a real, um, I think actually it's a, it's a, today looks like a failure to talk about, that Jews don't, are not comfortable talking about faith. Or, you know, it's, I heard somebody say, we're, not, we're, we're the God loves you people. But we've gotten so accustomed to not talking about faith that we've, that interestingly, if you look at American atheists, the highest percentage of American atheists, and the highest percentage of them were, um, were Jews. Um, because we have not, are not comfortable, and that's a generalization, of course, talking about faith. And there are um, a million exceptions to that, a million. Um, but I would say one of the things that I really love about my job is that I sit in spaces, I sit in rooms, I'm in conversations all the time with clergy and people who identify strongly with their faith. And I got to bring it for the Jews. So it's really led me to study and to learn, like, what is my faith? What does my culture say about this? So then I... I always feel privileged, actually, when I can go and read Jewish texts and then share them with others. Um, that's been that's been the biggest surprise, actually, about this job is is to that I've learned a lot about Judaism, and I learned a lot about faith, and become comfortable talking about faith. I think that um, for a lot of American Jews, they we live our faith through our actions. So if you look at social justice organizations, look at philanthropic endeavors, look at the arts organizations, look at all sorts of things that build community. You'll see lots of Jewish people involved there because I think that traditionally American Jews have said, we're not going to talk about faith, we're going to be really good Americans by contributing to a strong society. So that's why I think that, that talking about, f for Jews to talk about faith can sometimes be tricky for some Jews. I think that for, for American Jews there's a great investment in our civil society. That's what and so I think we see it everywhere. We see it in the you know, civil rights movement, American Jews, through time and through money and through you know, feet on the ground, um, invested in building schools, helped, helped start the NAACP. And I think that carries through to today. Look in our community today. So, so I think that talking about faith is, has to include that sort of lived faith. It's, you know, and we, believing in America as a place where anything is possible and we believe in the rule of law, believe that um, laws have protected us, have ensured our rights, have ensured our freedom. But if you look at Jewish philanthropists, by and large they're supporting non-Jewish things, they're, they're supporting community efforts. I think that's an expression of Jewish values.